Hello everyone, welcome to our Let's Play series of Enderol. This is Colonel RPG as usual, and I'm very happy that it shows to join me today here in my hunt for eggs. We're hunting eggs. I know. Inside a dungeon. That's right. And the reason for that is because we were just hunting eggs. That's basically it. And we found this dungeon. And uh, I want to see what it is. It's huge. It's enormous. Ooh, look at that. Who shot that arrow, I wonder? Ooh, gold amulets. That's really nice. And that's what I was expecting, actually. An enchantment table. Because I have a few items that are less than optimal and uh, I need to destroy them. <laughs> Let's see. Death Spark. Do I know that? I'm carrying too much. Yes, that's one of the reasons. Uh, that's one of the reasons why I uh, I need to um, to destroy them. Uh, so, Arcane Enchanter. Let's learn. Ooh, there's a, a thing above it. Did you see that? There's a thing above it. Okay. So, disenchant. That's what I need. Value per weight, 6.45. That's exactly what I need. So, yes. So, I now know Fortify Health. And also, we have Magic Imbued Robe. I'll go with that, because that's stupid and doesn't... Oh! <gasps> what is that? When did I get this that I didn't notice? A Frostwind Bow? Is the one I... It, it's the one I have, isn't it? It might be. It probably isn't. Um, so, yeah. I'm not going to destroy anything else. Even though I could. Like this one. Does fire damage. I suppose I could. I mean, it's the one I'm using, but... I think. Ah, well. That's good. Okay. I'm not going to enchant anything. But I am going to look at my items over here. So we are using Hunting Longbow, Superior, Frost. Okay, so this does... Yeah, because this does more damage. This even... Yeah. 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 So that, that, that thing that we saw, it sucks. Good. I like it. I like it it's that it sucks. It's important. Uh, tactfulness, Precision. Okay, now what is this thing? I'm going to save over there. know what it does but I like that it's there also I don't know what that is oh it's just a little candle thing good okay um, so yeah we were basically hunting for eggs and uh, we'll continue hunting for eggs we're around the vicinity of arcs and uh, I kind of want to go there as soon as possible but then again exploring the vicinity is, is fun so I don't know what that thing d did I imagine it didn't actually do anything in the outside it's possible to do it. You just need to set a global variable in the scripts if, if you're a mod maker. Uh, and then check it every area load, I suppose, that does it. Or you could do it another way. There's always different ways. Adding a, a hidden item to your player's inventory. Although although that tends to break. Don't do that. Ooh, look at that. Oh, this is a watchtower. Oh, look at that. We are finding the magical symbols. And they symbolize... Oh, hi! No! You are a terrible person! Please come back here, terrible person. <laughs> ah, you got That's not all I got, but Just a scratch. Or a flea bite. Okay, yeah. In a fight like this, I imagine he'd have the advantage. There we go. Although I, I have, like, homing things like that, so he's kind of toast. Okay. We have a hunting longbow over there. That's not very good. We have cabbage soup. Oh, yeah, I'll get that. Uh, and the hunting longbow don't need none of that. And have a little bit of money. So this is... Why did they put a mage up here? Did he have, like, clairvoyance or something like that? Something, like, allows him to see things farther away? Because that was a, pit a pitiful display of... Shameful display of skill from his part. He hit me twice. Then again, you know, I'm, I'm amazing. I'm amazing. I think the difficulty... I think we're good at the difficulty right now. Let's go back inside. I have no idea what that did. The the thing that I toggled. I hope it's still toggled now that I come inside. It should be. It should be. It's like doors. Maybe it's not like doors. I don't know. I don't know, but I don't want to trigger it again. Just in fear of... Well, it, sh it, sh it should be. It should be... Triggered. Hmm. I just don't know what it is. Maybe it's a trap. Not that I think about it. It could be something above. Or it could be something somewhere else. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's, let's just 
Let's just go and explore. There's things we haven't seen yet. Or maybe that just opened all the cells in a place with a lot of monsters. Oh, look at this. We have a potion of rancidness. And, uh, it's just a bunch of sweat. And, uh, what else? <laughs> right? Uh, or maybe not. I don't know what rancid is. I don't know what exactly it is. In yeah, I know what it means. I know, I know what it is. It's just I don't know what it is in terms of a chemical compound. What it does. What it just... Is it, like... It's not moldy. Ooh. This place looks... Hmm. What do you... Hmm. Well, I'll get that, but... Hmm. How do I go up there? Yeah, it looks like there's a... It looks like I did right. It's like a hidden... Oh, they might... Oh, this is like Blight Town. It's Blight Town all, all over again. And if you know what I'm talking about... And you don't like it. But well, I'm sorry. <laughs> Didn't even see what she was. A runaway prisoner. I'm sorry. I mean, I don't know what you were in for. Might have been... Very nice person. For all I know. But I'm not. Ooh. Oh no, she's running away. No. Well, she's dead. Okay, this is probably going to be magical. These, these winds, I don't trust them. Oh, hi. Oh no. Oh, no. Can you please not do that? Okay, this is very easy. These guys are very easy. Please don't do that. That's just... It's not... You know. <sighs> and somehow that arrow didn't stick? How did I work that out? Did I shoot it? Shoot her in the weapon or something? Mm, maybe. Okay. The soup, I think, is no longer in effect. That person over there was me. I was going to say it wasn't me. It was. It definitely was. Uh, a little bit of a thing... Are we good? I think we are. Mm. Okay, it's a good thing that we can jump while sneaking. I know it's a little bit unrealistic. But then again, sneaking is a little bit unrealistic. And that talk about unrealism. That's not a word, is it? Yes. Okay. Did you or did you not? Lose your foot and use a... No, he had his foot. And use a, a, a bucket as a substitute. Because that does not sound to me like it would, you know, be very good. Ooh, that thing is going to fall. <laughs> I love that, those little details. <laughs> it's so nice. Actually, it's one of the things in Morrowind that... Uh, in Morrowind, you don't have uh, chest animations. Or container animations. It's shadow skin over here. That looks pretty awesome. What is it? Well, it's light armor, so it's going to be amazing. Uh, shadow skin over there. It is light armor. I'm setting this... Uh, I'm, I'm favoring... Faving that right there. Yeah. I want the boots. Nah. Um. So in, in Morrowind, you don't... Uh, who, who made that thing be that big? Uh, in Morrowind, you don't get animations for uh, container openings and, and closings. Uh, and what happens is they, the level, level designers just put a lot of stuff in on top of containers. Which is a terrible thing to do, mind you. Not as a level designer, but just as a person. It, not the level designers, it's just the characters in the game that did that. And they're terrible people. Because you shouldn't put stuff, like, in front of doors, or... Oh, al alchemy. Eh, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna do anything with that. Um, you shouldn't put <gasps> stuff... Oh, hi! Get the impression that I was just hit by a foot basket. Hmm. At any rate, uh, if you put stuff in front of a, of a door or in front of a drawer or you know on top of a of a chest, that's just bad. That's just bad because when you need to access the chest, then you need to put the stuff away, or you're gonna try to uh, sort of open the chest without putting the stuff away, which is which can work with some things. Like imagine you have clothing on top of the chest. It's just bad. Get yourself some shelves. That's what I did. After 30 years of life, I finally got some shells for myself, and my god, the difference it makes. Uh, it's it's amazing. It's just brilliant. I don't have, have junk lying around all, all the time. It's not junk. 
well, it's still on shelves. It's, some of it is junk, but most of it is not. It's just, I always had my room be very untidy. Did I come in through here? Somehow I think so? Yes, yes, yes. Um, I've always had my room being very untidy, but even with all my efforts, I could never really... I mean, I knew what I had to do. I knew how to tidy it up. It's just... I it didn't always end up being untidy. So if you're listening to me and you have the same problem, uh, well, you might you might be like me and just bad at things, but maybe you're not, or maybe you are. It doesn't matter. Get yourself a sh shelves. Just get yourself sh shelves and don't don't put stuff on top of chests. And that's my life advice to you. Sounds sounds reasonable and fairly inconsequential. In so hopefully no litigation is going to be possible there. Just I was advised by Colonel RPG to buy shelves. I didn't get my money's worth. Well, you are gonna get your money's worth. Well, depends on the shelves you get. But still, buy the cheapest ones you can get. As long as you don't think they're ugly. And this place is enormous. I love it. I love it. This is pretty it's so awesome. It's so awesome. The level it's just incredible. This is not this is beyond awesome, actually. It's just the game. Uh, I, I'm gonna end up doing... Oh, yeah, jeez. Oh, yeah, definitely. I'm gonna end up doing a Let's Play of both Oblivion and Skyrim. So if you're looking forward to that... Well, I am looking forward to playing... Uh, to doing a Let's Play of Skyrim. Not so much Oblivion, though, but I have my reasons for that. And I will explain them when it, the time comes and all that. But... But... Um... I will be doing a Let's Play of both of those games. But I don't think... Oblivion certainly doesn't. I remember this guy. Uh, but I don't think Skyrim ever... I just picked up something really bad. Um, I don't think Skyrim ever reaches this sort of level design. Ever. Sort of inter just interesting little places. Not like... I mean, anywhere you look at. Unless you're looking at a crappy texture, which is... Well, you know, the level designers work with what they have, unfortunately, for them. Um, but uh, unless you are dealing with crappy textures, but even then, maybe if, you, if you're if you okay with them, you can just take a screenshot anywhere. And actually, don't remember the, uh, the shortcut key. Is it H? No, it's not H. That's the hero screen. There's a shortcut key. Oh, I know what it is. Um, no. Uh, TH? No. I knew what it was. H U Y? No. Oh, C T. Uh, it's like C T. Ah, oh, but I don't remember. I don't remember. Anyway, I'm trying to. Oh, I got coal. Don't need coal. Um. Somewhere I got coal. Oh, it's up here. Uh, let's see. Coal. Yeah. So. I wanted to r remove the U Y so you could just look and it, just anywhere you look at it, it's just it just allows for screenshots because they use the uh they just awesome it's just awesome and i'm really glad in and 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 really glad for that of course but the really cool thing uh should i take that no the really cool thing is that um it doesn't actually make the game be all about that because sometimes it's actually a tricky thing to balance when you're trying to make a game look cool um uh, we've we've been we've seen everything um, trying to make a game look cool, and you just you you sacrifice gameplay for for the coolness, because usually you're the level designer and all that sort of stuff. But this game, you can tell that, or this mod, you can tell that they made a level, and then they just spent a little bit of time looking at a ooh, great sword. Yeah, get that. Uh, looking at a like this bit over here, they didn't have to put none of this stuff, but look at the things they put in, like. Bunch of barrels, all this. You can tell there's some stuff going on. I don't. I'm not a fan of the ruined books, mind you, because it makes no sense. But um, I mean, that's just an item, I suppose. Clutter is okay. Uh, and uh, it's just such attention to detail, and that is fantastic. Not that I. I feel. I feel that the main games do suffer from that, in, including Morrowind, which is my favorite. Uh, I don't. I really need. Don't need that. That I just picked up. Uh, Morrowind is my favorite of the of the Elder Scrolls games, and certainly doesn't have the greatest level design ever. Uh, it, it it is 
very daring with some of the things that it does, and that's okay, and it's actually good and commendable, and it's nice. But, um, yeah, drop all those things. Uh, but it's just, it's not the center point of the game, and of course it's an old game and all that, and yeah, maybe for that time... What do we have? Magic Part 3. Maybe for the time of, um, of Morrowind, it was good. I have a key for this. Uh, don't get the experience from that, though. Um, and, and you kind of, I mean, I, I remember reading people just creaming over, just, oh, Morrowind has such great graphics, uh, and it is just amazing, and look at this. And it does. It, you know, for the time, it was pretty good. And I remember back at the time. Back at the, that time when Morrowind came out, I just looked at it in all of its unmodded 800 by 60, 640 resolution glory. And I was like, oh my god. Because I was used to stuff like... Well, that time I actually was more uh, more aware of things like um, uh, Neverwinter Nights, the first one, but the unupgraded uh, one. Mind you, so it was really, really ugly. <laughs> it was really ugly. It was it was something that I really, uh, really didn't feel that they they. Well, there's there's benefits and there's there's not benefits. Um, but uh, let's see, what can I drop here? Got some potatoes, some of these things. Yeah, drop all that. Uh, that you know, switching to the to the to a three D engine when they did with Never Winter Nights. But Morrowind was always like that. Morrowind was always 3D. So they knew what they were working with. Oh, this is what it did. This is what it did. The thing that we did. Oh, yeah. We found the secret. There's, why are there two things? There shouldn't be two things. Steel helmet of the bulwark. An iron claymore of flames. It's actually pretty good. Steel Dagger of Anguish. Get it. Fire Salts, definitely. I'm not going to need to eat those. Because I've eaten Fire Salts already. I know what the first thing is. Uh, so drop those. Probably going to drop the Rune Boots. Let's see. I don't think I'm carrying um, any Iron Ore or anything like that. I'm carrying these big things, though. Let's see. Rat Skin. I mean, it's... it's a, Yeah, I'm going to need to be a little bit more, more ruthless here. Uh, let's see. So, you... Uh, well, actually, food. Consumables here. I don't really need the single... Single healers. Like carrots, for example. I mean, it's nice to have, but the rest of the stuff is really what I, what I really need. So, that's gonna be that. It helps me out a little bit. Um, and then, I'm gonna drop... The rune boots over here. I'm gonna go with 20 from now on. Roasted beef, lovely. Uh, I have the backpack. I have daggers. That's uh, that's uh, that's we okay. So twenty value per weight is what I'm gonna go with. Uh, so drop that in the toolbox. Drop those, and that should be enough. It isn't. I need another one. Uh, iron claim more flames. Unfortunately, maybe I shouldn't drop that. Maybe a silver candlestick is what what's. Well, I don't know what's gonna what I'm gonna find here. It's a massive chest. It probably has a trap. It's probably gonna kill me. Look at that little hidden trap. Speaking of which, there might be a hidden trap around here as well. I don't think so. Okay. Ooh. Oh, it's an easy one. I never try the upright one. No traps. Good. Uh, get all of it. I'm now over encumbered. So let's drop. Uh, iron Clip. <laughs> Who did that? Oh! It was delayed? I'm gonna bring the Iron, iron Clay more. If I can find it. Somewhere. Okay, I'm not gonna bring it because I think we could. Uh, oh, it's right there. I think we can transform it. Uh, let's see. Sort by value, and we're good at that. And we have books on psionics. And we have tomatoes, and uh, tomatoes are pretty good. We have beef. Oh, beef is not needed. There we go. And I have 
chunk of cheese, green apples, stolen green apples. Ah, I'm a criminal. Well, that's my character. Uh, rabbit's food. Yeah, drop that. I mean, it's good for... We've been here, haven't we? Yeah. It's good for, um... <coughs> excuse me. For, uh, for cooking, but... Now, where... How do I get to the... Oh, I know what I am. So I know how I get to the other place. So we came from here... And, uh, somewhere... Oh no, I didn't come from here. I came to here. Uh, is there a passage? No. Can you please stop sprinting? That sprint lasted for way too long. Okay, good. Oh, I just had to come back. Yeah, because this is... The axis. Look at that much stamina. You can run everywhere without tiring. Which is great! So, from here, I'm gonna destroy the, um, the sword, flame sword, if I can, which I can't, because I've done it already. Good. So I can drop it. Great. Now let's get out. Let's lo look for more eggs. Um, I was talking about something. I kind of lost the train of thought, but I think I might have. I, I, I did my point. In my head, I did. I made my point. So, if you disagree with me, feel free to let me know in the comments. Or if you want to know more, as well. That also works. With a well comments thing, uh, but now we're hunting for eggs. We've been over here, and uh, yeah, we're just a. Bu Ooh, what is this? Thistle. I'll get thistle. I'm not over over encumbered or, or at all. It's all fine. Uh, I'm also probably gonna go to arcs because it's getting a little bit ri ridiculous. Well, it's it's not getting ridiculous. I'm just I am done with the, I'm done with all the inventory, maneuvering that I did already. I'm never gonna do that again in the game if I can avoid it, and I can. All I need to do is not get the eggs. So, let's just go to arcs. Sprint as well. Ooh! Well, I'm gonna get a dig. Oh, there's a duck. Oh, it's over here. They're very, very well hidden. Look at that. I'm now carrying too much. Look at that. Okay, what am I gonna drop? Old robes. No need for robes. How heavy were those eggs? Just, oh, I'm over encumbered. Uh, and uh, Jaspar should be somewhere around here. Hopefully. There he is. Hey, man. Oh, hi. Hi. Come here. Just stay cool. There's birds all over the place. That is a really, really cool thing. Uh, and you can tell that these guys just came up with the idea. And then they came up with the solution. With the in-game solution. That's how you do stuff. Hey. Come on. That's how you do stuff. You conceptualize before you put it into the game. And not the other way around. Like, oh, the game lets me do this. What kind of quests can I do with this mechanic? Yeah, that's the, the bane of all designers. So we probably want to go there. Sir, you're uh, Mr. Kazaor Tatata Kajake. Or Jape. He said his name. He actually paused in the middle of, of his surname. And we have a watchtower. Oh. Shh. Don't say anything. It's fine. This is my uncle's. He knows that I'm doing this. Shh. Okay. Jasper will wait for me. Well, wait for me, little Prince Charming. It's not that little either. And then we have that little house down there. Let's go across the bridge. There it is. Ark. Majestic, isn't it? Not arcs. Yeah, we kind of saw it from uh, from over there, but. Uh, I wouldn't say majestic, I would say impressive. Is that a flying ship boat port? Sir. Ma Madam? No. You don't have anything to tell me. Let's be a little bit more careful here. A little bit cautious. Just try and take in the sights. That looks very nice over here. This? Yes. Hi. Okay, apparently no. What is my... Don't look at me like that, man. Oh, I know what my key is for running. Mr. Beggar! Penny, madam. Please, just one penny. Sure, how about ten? Thank you. That's really generous. May his light guide you. I don't think I gave him 
Penny coins. Is there an, a, actually penny coins? I thought it was... Is it really? How do I do that? How do I do this? Is there... Is it over here? No, it's not here. It's gold! So did I actually give him, like, what? Point, 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 point zero, 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 one of the go of a gold or something? Hello, sir. Yes? Oh, he was gonna say something. Songs to be performed. Thou art my sweet spring blossom. Uh, if grunt root parsley or god's tongue, if sheer cap mint or potions done, Mirella's mixtures has them all. All herbs for the uh, alchemist's soul. Well, if I ever need an alchemist who can rhyme, I know who where to go. That was not half bad. Oh, sir. A foreigner, huh? Yeah. What a surprise. Are there a lot of you around here? Huh? Jasper didn't. You didn't like him, did you? Yeah. I don't know what. I don't know. I didn't like his name either. Uh, that's just. Huh? That's a lot of places. There's a windmill right at the. My damn. Gates. Is this a gate? Well, it does have a portcullis, so that's pretty awesome. A gatehouse. That's the word. Yes. Uh, I don't know so much about this, because. Why would you want that? Are you under renovations? I mean, if, you, if you're if you not at war. But then again, why would you care about the gatehouse? Oh, you would care about the gatehouse because it... it oh, location, 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 isn't it? Pretty good. Is it actually well designed? The castle? Oh, I want to see that. I want to see that. Okay, before we say goodbye, because we're out of time. Oh, it might be well designed. It doesn't have magic relations, though. But... It's fine. It never does. They, they don't know what they uh, what it is. It's a secret. Anyway, that's going to be that for this episode. I'm Colonel RPG, and this has been Androll. I really hope you've enjoyed it, and if you did, go ahead and leave a comment. Like the video if you want to see the next episode come out sooner rather than later. But above all, thank you so much for watching, and I hope I'll see you next episode. Bye!